everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to talk to you all about hosting a virtual back to school night. If you are planning to meet your parents over Zoom or Google, I will show you how to set up a slideshow, how to insert videos, pictures, links, Google Forms, so that you can prepare even from home. Stay tuned. So here is my back to school night presentation and you can see that if I put it in present mode, it's going to be interactive for parents. So I can do two things. I can either send this to parents so they can use on their own or I could have a live video call and have parents watching through um, my slideshow presentation. If that's the case, then they won't be clicking around, you'll be clicking around, but you can send this later so that they have all of the links that they need. So if I click um, through here, you can see that these, you can see that they're clickable to bring the parents to different parts. And if I hit this go home, it's gonna bring me back to the main screen. So you can customize this how you like. And I'm gonna show you how to create something that is simple, and easy to use so you can send this off to your parents. So if you take your main slide here, a good thing to always do is to add the slide as a background so that it's not movable for the parents, just only maybe text or something that you add over will be movable. So we can insert an image by hitting insert image and you can upload something from your drive. So let's say I want this image and I'm going to kind of give this as my welcome slide, that is an option. There is a really great site, I will link it below if you wanna remove the background so I can show you how to do that. Um, you go to remove.bg and you just upload your file. And what's it gonna do? It's gonna go in and remove the background for you. So if you just want um, your body, your face, if you don't, if you want to put it on like a fun color, like a tie dye rainbow background, it's super easy. You just download that image, and you have that PNG with a transparent background. These checkered boxes always mean transparent, means like it's a see-through background. So the picture is just gonna be me and I can then put that um, on my slideshow. So if I download this, it'll save, and then let's say I wanted to make the background you know, with multiple colors, it will just be a see-through component. Over here, I can type in any text. Google has a mi million amazing fonts, so don't think just because you're using Google that you're not gonna have cool fonts. You can hit more fonts and find so many. And let's say you wanted to put in a video. You can record a video with your phone, with your camera. You can hit insert video. Um, I'm gonna find it right from my drive. The easiest thing I think to do is just to upload it to your Google Drive. So if you're logged in your phone with your Google or your iPad, it's really easy just to hit share and get that sent straight to Google Drive. So I can put this video here so that parents can play it, let's say as the first slide. Now you have the option to like, if you wanted to auto play when you're presenting or change. So if I was in present mode and the parents got to the next slide, my video would start playing. And I will be your child's teacher this year. I'm so excited and I'm looking forward to a great year. Click on the link to help guide you through this slideshow. And then they would go on with their slideshow. So, another great thing that I love using is Google Forms. Um, Google Forms is a great way to collect information. So I have here these links to Google Forms. 
You can see that I created um, a simple form. I just put a, a fancy header, but it's a simple form for parents to click and fill out digitally their child's name, um, their child's strengths, weaknesses, or things they want to improve, things they struggle with, transportation. And the great thing about this is when you collect it from all the parents, it's going to put it in a really organized spreadsheet. So you don't have to worry about like filing all of these papers, finding all of these things. Instead, you can have this all um, super organized. I also made one for parent information to collect their best phone number. And this way you'll have one sheet. It'll have everyone in your classes, phone numbers and emails. When you're ready to call, you can open that. You can copy the email. It's super easy than having to go back and forth. I also made a volunteer form for them to sign up. So I have the forms here. You can see them in my Google Drive. So if you create your own Google form, remember you're going to not share it. If you hit share like you do with other Google features, it's actually going to let people edit it. So with Google Forms, you always want to hit the send button. And I always like to copy this link. And that is the link you can use to add into text or pictures. So if I go back to my slideshow and I go to the parent info slide, I wrote, please click out the form, click on the form. So I can highlight, click here to open. I can right click, select link, and I can put that Google form link right in there. So this way, when the parents are filling it out, they will click and open the form ready to go. And then you get all the answers on your side. So it's really helpful. It's really awesome. Now, um, something fun, like if you want to talk about supplies needed or items that you wish for, you can easily add in um, your Amazon wish list. You could do that for a, a back to school night. You can insert images. So if I come here, I could add like, maybe the kids need a notebook and a calculator. And you can drag in any sort of picture, resize it to fit, and you can tell the parents what they need. And then I have everything linking back to the home if they need to go home. If you wanna change it and have it linked to somewhere else, um, whenever you have a graphic, the cool thing is you can either link it to an external site or your slideshow. So you can just hit insert link and you get to pick if you want to insert the link, um, an outside link or slides in this presentation. Let me just raise it up so you can see better. So slides in this presentation, it's going to tell me what slide. So if I wanted this picture, you know, to say click here or to get linked to somewhere else, I can click and pick whatever slide I want it to link to. All right. And it is going to do that. If I hit first slide, then when I come here, there you go. You can even connect social media accounts. That would be fun for your back to school presentation and um, any important links that you want to want to add. Beats. So there's so much fun stuff you can do. Just because you don't meet in person doesn't mean that you can't um, meet and get ready and talk to your parents. So let me show you if you want to um, also create a moving image like this. I actually saw um, this website shared from Ashley G. So let me show you how you do that. If you take a short video of yourself, um, like a boomerang or just a wave, you can then upload it into this website. It's called unscreen.com and it will do the same like the photo. It'll remove the background. Um, just upload the image and then you will save it as a GIF. And you can see that then it just removes everything and you have your little image that you can put and it, it looks like an image, but it's moving and it's not a video. So it's a GIF or a GIF, depends how you say it. <laughs> so let's say I'm ready for my back to school night. I can come over to Zoom. I can start my meeting. It's gonna, I'm gonna shut the video off just because I'm talking to you through here. 
but just to give you a heads up on what it would look like. You're going to be able to share your slideshow. So what you would do when the parents are on is you would hit screen share and you would pick your slideshow um, that you want to share with your uh, class, okay? You can also share a portion of the screen if you don't wanna share the whole screen. Um, but you can see that if I open it into a new window, Zoom will allow me to share um, just that window. So here's my slideshow, I can share that. And now I would be able to do present mode so it looks a little nicer for the parents. And I can present while they're on live. If they have questions, I can stop and ask them questions. And then I could send this to them so that they have copies, they have the resources available. So it's very easy to do for a back to school night, put something together yourself. Um, I will link this in the description if you want this ready-made template. And then one other thing, if you're sending this to parents, you can hit share. And what you might wanna do is give every parent their own copy or directly put it into present mode. So if I go to anyone with the link can have it, and I copy this link, and I wanted to email my parents, let's say, let me show you here. So if I copy this link, I'm actually gonna delete the part that says edit, and I'm gonna change it to copy. This is going to force a copy so when they get this link, they're gonna get a new copy made for them. So you can do that. You can make view only mode or you can give it to them in the present mode by deleting that and hitting present. This will automatically put it into present mode when they click on the link and they will be able to start watching your slideshow instead of having kind of like that editing, you know, look to a Google slide. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, you can um, subscribe, like my page. I Let me know if there's other tutorials you would love to see. I would love to help you, especially during this back to school season.